guys or good afternoon it's 3 42 p.m today is monday may 16th 2022 and i'm recording the video early today right because there is no need to wait for end of day price action today you know because i know the outcome since before opening you know that price may exhibit certain types of behavior today which is a fed uh, fading day you know kind of behavior so ping pong so uh, it is very important see last three days I have, I have been consistent right in providing uh, the context what is upcoming right so that means Thursday and Friday right the pre-market notes talks about up upward moves right today I talked about in discord about having a, a fair day that means uh, ping pong neutral day you know and you are rather uh, better off fading than taking a breakout or breakdown kind of trade you know because price is not gonna go anywhere that was the idea right of the open before open you know in discord and that's why even early in the morning around 8, eight or 7 o'clock I even typed in discord that I'm not going to trade today till late noon so basically in the morning I'm going to avoid trading you know because I was not feeling comfortable you know, I was thinking it's going to be ping pong heavy choppy day today, and you can see the result. It is it is a choppy day. If you draw a box, entire day's price action, it is just did back and forth. There is nothing achieved. You know, nothing is achieved today. So it is very important to know those kind of days in advance, huh? so you can plan accordingly. You know? Yes, essentially there were a couple of trades today. There were total six trades today, three longs, three shorts. You know. But you just you know have to figure out you know where to short where to go long. But anyway, so uh, pre-market notes, right? So above thirty-nine twenty-seven, assume some intraday bias are there from last week. Okay, so price did not go below this, right? So some bias are there. We know already now, right? Even price doesn't have to show us. We already know based on this, right? At least they are there. However, the overall sellers are still active in general, and mid-term and short-term both sellers are active. 4200 to 3700 could be the range that I can visual, visualize it for now and the price action from this week may give us a clue. So I am not talking about today these things, yeah? it is a foolish idea to think about today. This is entire week price action I am talking about, the range. Okay. Uh, both side trading is allowed in general, see both side. So neutral idea today, right? that what it means. Day trading price action is balancing in a tight range from the last five days in general. For today, 4000. Now you can draw a line at 4000 and see how many times price bounce from it. You can draw a line at 4024 and you can see how many times price got rejection from that area. Right? So levels are very important. You know? uh, NQ 948, 927, above. Some bias are there. We have to assume that means we are neutral today. Right? 1300 to 11,050 could be the new range that I'm thinking for this entire week. For today, 300, 432, and this area are important for buyers to hold above and take out and sellers to do opposite basically. You know, so 432 and 400, 408. Those are the another level I gave it in this call. Uh, in pre-market, you know, and you can draw a line there and you can see what happened from there. You know. Russell, it is all about 1800 to 1700 range. It can go either way, right? And the set middle level I gave it is was 1860, 1760, 2 or 1763. You know, that is what I talked about in Discord. I didn't get a chance to look at Russell today, so I have no clue what it did today. You know, but those are the three levels I gave. Now it is all about this, and you can see it. There was an opening thrust down from this level, you know, and then I did not check down. Uh, crude overall range bound for today above 108.50, 110.50. Stick with long, you know. That was the idea. You know? So trade outside that range, right? So above this long, below this, stick with short. You know. Uh, and to dream number 300 and 252. Okay. okay. So which is this 300 area? See this 300. And then 252, which was this dream number, right? Now, opening what I explained in Discord before open that I'm looking for 252 to 431 today's range, you know, and plan to trade outside of that range, right? But I also said 
fading day that means outside of this range fading day possibility right simple because within that you can't fade it right fade means you have to fade the edges correct so edges you can fade fade means you can go long here long here long here right and this edge is you can short which is this right in between you don't do anything unless you see something matching up with es then you can do some actions okay so that's the overall idea right and uh, i already dis uh, described in this code today or explained right that fade day means you go opposite of whatever is going on during intraday right and you stay away from breakdown kind of trade below this or breakout kind of trade above this or any intraday breakout and breakdown okay so that's the overall general idea right and then yes same thing 24 to 4000 that was the range you know so from here to here anything beyond you can do fading or no or do nothing no breakout no breakdown trade like this right so that was the idea so now that was the context today right going into the day so of the open when we were observing it right this was a long that i took it in same account right uh, which was this because i was not supposed to trade of the open right i said i will trade late noon correct so the, this was a long we discussed from this area you know uh, in in nq from this 252 right because the moment price came down here this was a border line so fade idea right back to this and here i said take out 50 percent or so bail out right and es also bail out right here you know the gap fill area right and then bail out means 50 percent 60 percent take profit and then rest to hold it till here right but in this case it came down right it's a fading idea right so and also it's a v wave right so it may come down who knows right and it came down from gap fill then es broke down below this morning low but nq could not at that point you know while it was here es was way down that was a divergence between indexes es was 15 points down you know below its morning low while nq was barely 20 point down something was off you know that means this thing can bounce right so you can go long right here here you know which is here also right and it was testing globex low also so you can go along here just based on that concept internals were not liquidation kind at that point you know? so you can even go along here or you can wait you know to see because yes was down it may go down further right so you can wait the moment and you try to reverse from globex low here right you wait and then see what's going on you can grab these points back to this area you know at least if you want to you know again it's a fading idea but you are now waiting for confirmation here right uh, because it was too much difference between ESN and Q or you just wait don't do anything then price came back down right at this time and Q poked below this morning low right but so here if you look at this ES did not went below see yes was the weaker one right it's the strongest one to the downside it went 15 points below this morning low while nq was barely moved down 20 points now this time since nq made an effort why the hell yes did not go down like here see that means people are playing with you guys it's it is going to bounce or it is slated to be bounce you know so but you don't take a risk right here you know and you can look at the internals at that time you know they were balancing right see they were balancing look at this they were balancing you know? so they were not liquidation kind so this bounce happened right so let price goes higher and close here right then the moment it pop back up here right here you go long and you you go long right here uh, man right here you know back above this globex low or you can wait till 252 and go long you know but you have to manage it see this kind of days I'm showing you all these entries, right? Because I was out anyway after 10 o'clock, right here. But I'm showing you all these entries. And anyway, if I was here, I wouldn't give you a trade anyway. But but I will give you the total background, what is going on, right? So all these things is telling you it's not gonna go down today. The Fed, the fading day idea is in 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 in, in debt, and it may do that kind of behavior by just looking at this back and forth, you know, and this back and forth. See that? Also here, also same thing. 
so then it went higher right now when it goes here there is no guarantee is gonna break out and sustain because the day is fading kind of day so any new highs you know previous highs previous lows price is going to get rejection some kind of rejection so if you are long you can bail out here you know all these things and you can look for shorts right but the problem is being a day trader you can't do both longs and short in a fade day you know? so you have to stick with one side that means either you go long entire day at the bottoms or you can fade shorts entire day at these highs you can do only either or you can't do both because mentally it's a challenge to do both okay so keep that idea in mind for future fade day you can only stick with one direction not both ways okay uh, mentally it's good for you to stick with one direction right so here so i choose to stick with longs you know if i had a choice i would stick with longs not short you know uh, just based on the overnight price action and the way es held above 13 and 27 right and the way price went down in last two weeks right it needs some kind of balancing so that's why i would stick with longs compared to shorts given a choice in a in a in a fading day you know but it's my personal choice you can take a shot i know a couple of guys took a shot here too nothing is wrong you know but i'm just saying that is my personal choice you know? so when price went higher here see after this point i was outside right then i came back at around 12 o'clock or so or 11 30 or so somewhere around here i came back right to just get a water because i was doing gardening work so when i came back here that 210 around this 210 area you know i i was i quickly glanced through these things you know and then i looked at mbox so there was a divergence going on at mbox in mbox you know that was the first clue i got it and then i thought i saw this you know so that's an observation here you know so i saw this you know a low and the high right and then there is a new low there is a new high there is a new low and i was expecting it may make a new high now you know and that was my thought process okay based on this observation and then i saw mbox and then i saw a divergence there that was the trade i took it at 202 you know right here so along with this morning sim trade this was a sim trade you know but and so this trade i took it from 210 you know so and then i went outside right after like few minutes and then 12 o'clock 12 23 or so you know i came back for a, a lunch right so uh, hold on so let me uh, hold on so hold on so let me show you these things so i took a screenshot of discord also you know for those folks who are not part of discord right see here 11 9 a.m came back inside for water 210 in nq is important back above it can go higher es may follow right it was around 11 9 i typed that 210 and you can see it here uh, right here see that and you can see after that the stop was here so i took the long also there hold on let me show you so that was the statement right and this is my entry 1106 right 202 and this was the spotted thing which i uh, captured it at the time you know when it was doing it these things right so here i captured the entire trade pretty much you know so while i was here so here i saw a divergence you know i'll show you in mbox video later on all these things but you can see this divergence going on right and then this is say 237 79 50 correct and then i had a 62 here see here even better than this also see that so something is up here right and then 210 i observed it anyway right so now i know something is up here right so all i need was here from this long is price to go higher above this 210 because my entry was 202 right and then this thing this cumulative delta to flip and this thing to bring some buy right and then the next step you see it right after i put the comment here in discord at 1109 you can see there is a stop thrust right and this delta was flipped right now i was looking for what i was looking for this thing to come up you know in buy and then you can see it. see this is how you hold the trade right so see so this delta was increasing right when it was developing the delta was here value you know it was positive 
then you can see 235 right so 163 became 235 by the time it stopped right you can see there is a delta came and there is a buying came in okay? here i typed it all i want to see is to come buying coming here to hold this law right so you can see the buying came in right and then suddenly somebody shorted it right so it came down it came down and i drew a box here at the time you know right at this point here right it was a, some delta value there i forgot it right and then i was expecting it will go higher but then instead it came down right fine then i looked at this i was still holding this trade and then i looked at this see price going down but no downside selling and you can see it here also downside selling is decreasing not increasing right so that will give me a confidence that yes this could be a pullback it may go higher also possibilities there then you can see the next time same low minus 36 and i have this buying coming in you know and then this buy and then this buy right so this tells me that hey now it wants to go a little bit higher right and then you can see it after these things it just skyrocketed correct now at here at this time there was no signal here to exit but you need to know the context so here 50 to 70 percent take profit exit when yes get to 4024 remember 4024 level based on uh, these things see that so es es hit 4024 so you bail out here and then after that price just came see this was my entry with stop at 186 entry was 202 target was 399 right so I took 70% profit there, rest I held it and then finally it got achieved here, okay. So that's how the day ended pretty much, you know. But now later on, right, later on within this ping pong, right, you can see it price came down here at 210 or roughly close to it, right. Here it bounced, so there is no trade in between, right. Now you can't take it more, you have to wait for a new low or something, like similar pattern. So in between nothing but when you see price going here at this high again right and then it push pull back right here at that point if you look at it here uh, hold on 205 right 205 pm my discourse statement 330 above up so at that time i was done gardening outside right so i came back inside and then i was like available till four o'clock in this call so 330 above up move now to 400 because 400 was the original level 408 431 where price wants it to go it's like similar to years 4024 right so 330 up above move now to 400 at 205 pm statement right so now you can see it here 205 see that right after the statement 330 held and i actually gave 300 in this call it has to hold above 300 you know for 10 minutes and you can see there was a trade there see that at least 400 high likelihood possibility and then any new highs people will sell it most likely and now it is at 400 it may come you know selling may come but we have to just watch and then what happened es touch this bold area and then my discourse statement at 235 uh, hold on 235 400 is rich exit top which this target right next question is can it go here or go down back to 300 or so and ES goes down to 16 or 26, right? That was the idea. And then you can see ES is now above Friday's high, which was that 44. And then here was I, I typed it, you know. If it is a true fading, fading day, then it won't be able to hold above it and it may come down, attract some sellers and go back to this area, right? And then you can see uh, this was uh, yesterday's Friday's high. It couldn't hold above it, failed touched it, retest it and down. That was your shot right here. See that? And that be all for today. I'll see you tomorrow.